In this demo, you're going to build a random quote generator. So that's going to be a fun and colorful random quote generator. You're going to have a different background color every time you display a new quote. And we're going to be doing just like we did in the previous demo. We're going to work with animate view duration and the parameters duration and the animations closure. Plus, we're going to work with an API, which is an application program interface in order to get the quotes data. So we won't be making up the quotes information. It's not going to be hard coded either they will be coming from the internet instead. So let's see what the app is made of. So we're going to go to the starter project and open the random quote and start folder. So you have the main storyboard on the left and a view controller on the right. And you have two outlets. First, the quote label and the author label. And we have also this button, random quote, that we're going to link to the IB action. And that's going to trigger the function set quote that we're going to use in order to do an API call. And this one is available inside the file data service. So here you're going to see that there's a lot of information that may be confusing if this is the first time that you're working with an API. So the first thing you need to see is that we're using a completion handler as a parameter to return a quote and an author. And we have this first variable, which is a URL, and that corresponds to this API service, which is called Forismatic. So this is where we're going to get our random quote information. Then we open an NSURL session and we call the method shared session, followed by a data task with URL that takes two parameters. So first the URL, which is this URL that we have just defined as a string. Second, a completion handler. And this completion handler is going to return three information, so the data, response, and an error, if there's any. And so we are interested in the response, the data, and that's going to be in the form of JSON format. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to paste it in the address bar in the browser. So you're going to be able to see what type of data that we can return with this link. And here you see that we have the keys quote text and quote author, and we have a different values, different values every time we refresh the page. And we're interested in the value of the quote text and quote author key. And we're going to go back to the code and you're going to be able to see that inside the two blocks. So in the case we have valid JSON data, we're going to create this variable and we have this convenient class with a Swift, which is NSJSON serialization that allows you to parse through JSON data. And we want to return the value of the keys quote text and quote author that we're going to assign to these two variables before passing them to the completion handler that we're going to do on the main queue because every API call is done on the back thread. So we don't need to go too much into details with API call, how we parse data. It's just important to know how we can get the data from the internet and how we can apply it, implement it in our code in order to display on our app. And finally, in the case we have invalid JSON query. So that's going to be the next block of code, which is going to run in catch. I'm going to show you next how to use this data that we get from the API call. And we're going to finish to complete this function, which is set quote data in order to display the quotes on our app. And that's going to be in the next video lesson.